Great, yeah. Welcome. I am going to create a backend REST API with NestJS. NestJS is used for Node.js server side application. It's a framework. I choose to create an e commerce REST API. NestJS framework typically use TypeScript. I also use TypeScript along with TypeORM as an ORM. And as for database, I use Postgres SQL. You can ask why I choose e commerce project. I choose it because it's not a small project, but not the biggest project either. Actually, it's cover most of the major features that I know. Before going to create this REST API, we need to install some softwares. First is Node.js, then database PostgreSQL. I am using VS Code for coding. You can use VS Code or whatever you want. And checking the route, I will use Postman. You can use Postman or Insomnia or whatever you comfort, feel comfort. Okay. If you install these softwares, then here this is NestJS documentation. It says several ways to install NestJS. There is another one. There is another one. But I I will use this npm i dash g at NestJS slash CLI, then Nest new, then project name. So I'm copying this line first npm i dash g at NestJS slash CLI. I have opened my Visual Studio code, then I open my terminal. So I create a Nest API, name it a folder and it's in desktop you can choose file path or folder path anywhere your computer now i am paste this line and click on enter it will take some time okay i have installed nestjs cli now it's time to create new application of NestJS. To install new application, we have to copy this command, then go again, paste it, nest new project name. And I am going to name it Bazaar API. Okay, nest new Bazaar API. Without Installing this Nest JS CLI, remember it will not work. So, first install Nest JS CLI, then this command will work. Next, it tells which package manager would you like to use. I am using npm. If you want, you can choose your not pnpm. I am using npm. Enter. Okay, it's installed. Now, if we expand Bazaar API folder, we can see the Node.js, NestJS file and folder structure. First, Node modules, then SRC, test, then some of the file. We should have used package.json. Here is starting script, start dev, 
and etc. Let's open SRC folder. SRC folder has some several files main.ts, appservice.ts, app.module.ts, app.controller.ts, app.controller.spec.ts. Spec.ts, this is for unit testing. We are not going to test anything or not unit testing. So I am going to delete this file first because we don't I don't need this. Okay. Main.ts, this is our entry point. And this import nest factory, import app module. This is the bootstrap. This function will be called first. And here is our server is running on port. 300 and it's private nest factory dot create app module and where is our app module app module is app dot module dot ts so this file call in main dot ts and app module is can import file and controller and providers there is only one controller app controller and here is our app controller this is this you can create as many as you want and then you have to put this there controllers after one controller then comma another controller and providers providers is services services there is only one service in this app so far now this is app dot service dot ts this is app service and it's injectable what is dependency injection we will see it later but first it app service and it return get hello with string hello world and it's called in controller if you open controller app controller here is the get hello string and this called this dot app service dot get hello this dot app service and it, this is our App service and it's called this function so it will return hello world and it will return hello one and this is string so this is for now next we will see how to configure our database connection okay bye